Hello Year 6 or the upcoming Year 7s and welcome to the Dean Trust Rosebridge Art Transition Challenge. Uh, we are looking forward to having you here in the Art Department next year. Usually you'll be coming to the school around this time to be getting a taste of lessons and walking around school to see what it's like but unfortunately we're unable to do that this year so hopefully this will be just as good. Okay, so what we are going to do today is we're going to look at something called Zentangle Art. Now Zentangle Art was founded by a lady called Maria Thomas. She was a co-founder and it's a way of drawing that actually relaxes you as well. Zentangle is an easy to learn and relaxing method of creating beautiful images from repetitive patterns. It is a fascinating new art form that increases focus and creativity. It provides artistic satisfaction and an increased sense of personal well-being. Zentangle is enjoyed by a wide range of skills and ages and is used in many fields of interest. And to top it all off, it's fun to do. Maria and Rick Roberts developed this fascinating creation. And if you'd like to learn any more, you can visit the Zentangle website. So for this challenge, we have some success criteria. What you are going to do is you are going to create a word or some letters and you are going to fill those with Zentangle patterns and I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. Now the words that I want you to focus on or the letters that I want you to focus on need to link to hope and new beginnings which is a theme of our art transition challenge today. You're going to include lines, curves and shapes, include layering, overlapping patterns and have an evenly balanced positive and negative space. And again, I'll explain more about that in a second. Hopefully, you'll use control in your artwork, and that's what we will teach you a little bit more when you come into year seven, and you will have an effective composition, which basically means the layout of your design. And most of all, most importantly, you are going to show creativity in your designs. So as I said, I'm just gonna explain a little bit more about positive and negative space before you start on your designs. Positive space refers to the area where the subject is positioned. Negative space is the area surrounding the subject. Or in other words, positive space is the main focus area, so it's the image that you are drawing, basically, whilst negative space is the background. Yet this can be used in different creative ways to create contrast, as you can see in the three images below. This is going to become important when you are drawing out your Zentangle design because the only colours that we are going to use is the white of your paper and a black pen. So positive and negative space in Zentangles is used to provide contrast of light and dark as well as creating an overall evenly balanced black and white composition. So as you can see on the images here, they have balanced out the amount of black and white. So they've got the same amount of black and white to show that lovely contrast between the background here and their actual drawing. And here are just some Zentangle designs for you to have a look at. If you'd like to pause and maybe take note of some of these, you can do that. You can also find lots and lots of different Zentangle designs online for you to have a browse through. And there's lots of different designs for you to see. So, the main focus is drawing, as this is an art transition lesson. So, your challenge for today. You are going to be inspired, hopefully, by Zentangle patterns, and I've given you three options to choose from. The first option is you can write out your initial and you can fill it with lots of different Zentangle patterns. The second option is to do two initials and fill with Zentangle patterns. And the third option which is my favourite, is to create a word and fill with Zentangle patterns. And because our theme is new beginnings and hope, moving into your new school year, I want those words to link in with that theme. So as you can see, this one here that says hope and faith, it would be fantastic if you could link that to the theme of the day. Now I'm just going to explain a little bit more about how you would go about creating one of these designs. So first of all, you would draw out your design lightly in pencil and then you would start to add your Zentangle patterns inside. So you would start maybe from the side, work your way up 
making sure you are only going inside the letters and you are leaving the background blank. You would then begin to outline with control the large letters you have created using a fine liner or any black pen that you have at home. And if you need a ruler, use it where you can. Okay, we don't want any messy lines, nice straight lines. It's going to make it look nice and neat and controlled when you're finished. You then need to start outlining the intersections. So that's the little bit where they cross over. Now, you might not have any of those if you've gone for option one or option three. But if you've gone for option two and you're overlapping your initials, your first and your second name initials, then there might be areas that cross over and it's important to outline those first so that you know where they are and you can complete the rest of your design. OK, and you're then going to move on to the remainder of your patterns and outline the remainder of everything else on your page. Number four, once you've outlined all of your lines like this here, you're then going to colour in the black sections, ensuring it is an evenly balanced positive and negative space. If you remember what we were talking about, that evenly balanced black and white across your artwork and try and make it as much half and half as you possibly can. And finally, you're going to rub out your pencil lines so that you get this lovely outcome at the end. So whether you have chosen option one and two, or option three, you are still going to follow the same process, okay? So you're still going to draw it out, then outline, and then add in those little details. And you can use whichever patterns that you like. You don't have to use the ones that have been used here. You can mix it up, you can find different ones online, or you can use these pages as inspiration. If you want to pause it here when you're a little bit further along and use some of these images to help you with your design. And that is your DTRB Rosebridge Transition Challenge. So hopefully I will have some lovely outcomes and I look forward to seeing your designs.